to explore forging solutions in the now. We're joined by an incredible panel of mana wahine e ngungurune, Annette Sykes, Tina Ngata, to dissect the doctrines a little bit more. Tēnā rā kōrua, nau mai, hara mai ki tēnei pai kōrero. Tēnā kōrua, it's so great to have you here. And thank you for having us. Um, it's a real privilege to be here today. Tina, can I start with you? Today has been 250 years in the making, and it shouldn't have been, should mm -hmm. it? I mean, that's mm -hmm. one of the key points you make. Mm -hmm. Why did it take us so long to even get to this point? Mm -hmm. What does this point mean for you? Is it a turning point? Well, I think that's going to be determined probably more by our treaty partners. We've been carrying this discussion for a long time. We've mm. been expressing it on our paipai, on our atea. Mm. We've been expressing it through our universities. So the, the opportunity, I guess, that still remains is whether or not people are going to listen and then take action because certainly we've been carrying this corridor a long time and it's whether or not others want to come to the table and it shouldn't always be left up to us to drive this, you know, we've been leading this discussion for a long time, so. E aroha ana e ki a koe, ene, nā te mea, tika te kōrero, kua roa koe, kōrero ana e, kaue ana e, we nei kōrero, haanga mea matua, when we talk about, as matua moana said, understanding what colonisation is, what's the 101, what do people need to understand? Well, colonisation is about erasure, and this event um, highlights that Tuia 250, it's already in the name, erased mm. the thousands of years of occupation. So if we are to really um, um, confront colonisation, we need to decolonise ourselves as a nation. Mm. I think the Crown has a role, but Māori have stepped up. And uh, now I think society is also cannot ignore it. So we have a many Pākehā who have joined Māori. I mean, you know, Stacey, mm. how many are learning Māori? I don't think it's lip service. It's a genuine desire to have a bicultural nation. Yeah. It's a genuine desire to forge relationships that recognise tangata whenua. My concern about this celebration is that it's a bit like checkbook politics for me. You can come in with 20 odd million dollars over four years and celebrate, celebrate something, but what happens when the checkbook goes away? Mm. Is there going to be a commitment to, in my view, the uh, redemption that is required for Gisborne? taking away statues of men whose lives only captured a moment and not the whole. You know, my mukapuna called Captain Cook a pirate as we were coming here today, because in his piracy, of course, we've heard about the um, 10 uh, or the nine people that were killed, 12 that were killed in the first two days of his arrival. Now that kind of behavior should not mean that we should glorify him in a statue and deny the same kind of recognition of tua homine, of all of, of fiti rongomai, of all of those individuals mm. that were peace activists and I think worthy in the world of the legacy that they leave for us. Mm. So I think the Crown has a part to play, but Māori are asking our communities to step up and demand the change for reconciliation that we, we believe the treaty set the paradigm for. Mm. Tina, can I take a, a word that Annette used there, which was erasure? Mm. A, 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 and one of the things I don't think we understand mm. was the impact on Māori in numerical terms. Mm. So when Cook arrived, the population of Aotearoa was somewhere between 100 and 120,000. Mm. It was certainly at that level at the beginning of the 1800s. Mm. By the end of the 1800s, it was somewhere between 40 and 50,000. So more than half of the Māori population had just disappeared. Correct. That's erasure, isn't it? Yes, well it was very purposeful, of course it wasn't a natural population decline. But the other thing to remember is that, you know, in 1768 we were a free, independent, self-governing people. We had abundant landscapes, we had abundant healthy rivers, we had abundant coastlines and, and so that, you know, we really need to go back to the fact that we were free, independent and self-governing and that is the first part of understanding the impact and that's really when we set our trajectory towards justice and that's what we're talking about we're talking about justice and often we're talking about basic human rights and people are making out that it's a very difficult goal to set well these things are just laid out already in, in international statutes so so you know this this pursuit of justice really needs to take to, to take in, into mind where it is that we've come from what we had in order to understand what we've lost <laughs> ki te iwi Māori, te niwa, ki te whakaroa ke tātou uh, mō Ngāti One One, me ngā āhotanga i, i, i pā mai i te niwiki, 
hea o kupu akiaki a tātou. O ko te tuatahi, kia koutou Ngāti Oneone, Rongo Whakāta, te whānaua kai, Ngāti Parau hoki, i pupuri te Māori o tēnei whenua, kei te mihi atu kia koutou. Kei te mohoa i tēnei wā uawua mō koutou, nā te mea, ka tahi anō ka mohoa te ao, a nei nā tinihanga te pākeha kia koutou. I runga i taua tuahutanga, kei te mihi atu au kia koutou. Anā ka hore au ki tērā rea kia mohi ai te katoa. For those indigenous populations here in Gisborne, we must pay tribute this week. It really was sacred invitation for me to come here and be with Tina today mm -hmm. to um, embellish that. Um, they suffered the most with the arrival of Cook and the erasure that occurred for them is the most prominent, I think, in the history of this nation. And we as a nation need to memorialise their realities, mm -hmm. the thousand years of their continuous occupation. They do it on the Atamira every time at Te Matatini. It's no secret that this, these groups here stand up with all the ihi, the mana and fortitude of their ancestors. What for? To remind us this is their place, this is their Turanga Waiwai and they will protect it with their lives. Now we as a nation need to respect that. Gisborne has to come to terms with the colonisation that has highlighted others like Cook and others, even in the contemporary sense, at the expense of them. And then we need to use that as an exemplar for the nation. Mm. And um, that's the beginning of the constitutional change that um, Tina's been um, highlighting. We need to breathe the reality of the treaty into this lifetime. That's how we confront decolonizing the, the nation. Yeah. It's yeah. not, um, colonization didn't get on a plane and go away. It's yeah. still here. Um, Ihu Mata, I've been watching your show yeah. this morning. But you know, I, I'm looking at everything. Every time they want a road, whose lands do they ask for first? Māori, why? because Māori are lands that are available for everybody else to use for the public benefit, but at their Māori expense. We need to really reassess what we're doing. Exploiting, I think, Māori generous, generosity, for what? For colonial aims of development. And this is, I think this is the, the confronting issues of today. What a beautiful setting though. I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, I, I mean, I don't want to demonize Cook, but I, I just feel that um, the fact of all of what he did here um, needs to be contextualised as to why he coveted this. How dare he call this place Poverty Bay? How mm. dare he? Mm. There is nothing about, anything about poverty here. It's the most beautiful paradise. And that paradisial um, obligations of Māori is recognised by us. Why didn't he recognise that? Because of course the name of names is the parent of all things. And that's why I think degradation to Māori and Ngāti Paro and this region has occurred. They've been invisibilised, forgotten and allowed to um, sometimes be reduced to the status of the forgotten. And, and te tika me whakanui, te tika me whakamana i o tātou ake hītori, o tātou ake kōrero, engari, uh, he take tonu waingi a tātou ki te, tar, ki te karauna, ai, you know. Kore rau tātou. Ai, 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 you know. Mai kore ake kōrua, me ngā whawhai kai te whawhai tonu kai te whawhai tonu, tēnā yeah, kōrua. Exactly. And, you know, we have to continue to hold the Crown to account around how they have driven this out. It's still, they've still placed the arrival of Cook as the pōtoko manua for our nation, mm. and we are allowed to hang our stories off the side. Yeah. So we should be telling our stories, but we can't allow them ever again to centre colonisation in the story of our nation. Mai kore ake tō kōrero, kōrua tahi i tēnei rā. Nō reira, coming up after the break, we're going...